Oh, I'm tired. That was really good. That was super, 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 super good. Holy shit. So, uh, all right, where to start? Um, all right, well, I don't know what, I guess I'll start with stuff I like. Um, really, they, they brought a lot of the, I, I started using actually a lot of the weapons near the end. Um, some of the balance for the weapons still a little bit off, but there's, it's really good, like still. Um, I, I was having fun throughout the entire thing. You know, it was funny because we were like, I think when like Doom 3 and like all, like the bunch of stuff was coming out at the same time, everyone was like complaining because they're like, oh, we want a fast paced kind of more, more fast paced shooter kind of thing. Uh, like we didn't like, you know, the story elements and stuff. And we're like, oh God, you have like, well, okay. I, I don't, I know I don't speak for everybody, but I know it was a common complaint of people who were fans of like original Doom kind of stuff. So, uh, but yeah so they basically took that and went fine here and then this is what we got and it's really good um we're the successor to doom and Tomb. why is that guy just as a police officer who knows um we're the successor to doom and doom 2 absolutely yes very much so um now this is in a vacuum assuming that we're just talking about doom and doom 2 um the thing that makes Doom and Doom 2 really good is obviously the modding community. Like, that's the part that that really kicks it off. So, it's going to be interesting. Is there going to be much of a modding community around Doom Eternal? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I'm not, I don't have the answer to that. Um, but that's, that's, I think, what... Uh, I think over time, that's what's going to do it. But this is, this is really good. Uh, I'm... Not sure if I want to do this on Ultra Nightmare, to be honest. That is gets really difficult at the end. That's way beyond even I think what I can do. Um, I mean, you you have to do it absolutely perfectly. They did a phenomenal job. It's and 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 the thing is though, like I think, I don't think there's any point in this in the in this game that I really felt like it was unfair that I died or something. It was completely fair through and through. Um, and it's usually like, like I, because you just think about it for me, like, oh, I should have been moving more. Oh, I should have done this differently. And that's a good thing about it. It doesn't feel like there isn't absolutely anything you can do. And like, it's a constant, like, improvement sort of thing, which is what makes it absolutely phenomenal. Like, that's really difficult to do. And they actually, they really did do it. They really did an amazing job with it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll do Ultra Nightmare. I would actually want to get an upgrade for my video card. Uh, by the way, I was doing this um and i had below minimum requirements just to let you know uh i didn't realize i i i know my video card's a bit old but i thought i'd at least be able to do this but apparently not um so yeah uh that's why so i really had to turn everything down and stuff so i, I think i'm gonna be definitely looking for an upgrade pretty soon um uh, if not I'm, I'm gonna just start looking around maybe see if maybe a cheap one comes in because i know i wasn't buying one for a while because that bit bitcoin like farming with like gpus is all the rage for a while so it really shut up the the gpu cost so i just just didn't bother with it but i think a bit went back to normal and now it's like yeah um things i could have done without in this um i think the counter system is is too much um although to be honest they did introduce like like i'm thinking mostly of the cacodemons of the like eating the grenades kind of thing but to be honest they did have the javelin thing that became another weak point for them and you didn't have to strictly do the mancubus one i guess when you get to the end it's fine it's just a little bit like in the middle it's just like i feel like i'm doing the same thing to the cacodemons mostly just like shooting a grenade into their mouths and and that's it um enemy variety was top notch it was it was amazing and some of these things were really hard even for me at the very end i'm i consider myself pretty seasoned when it comes to fps but holy shit this this is i'm so glad i did start this on nightmare they did like i this is just something i i don't think i would have like i i, I would definitely want to experience the first time on, on nightmare so good so good though um so yeah the counter system I think near the end it was fine um and i think that was the intention but it was in the middle most in the middle of the game it was like i really didn't like it um and also i hate the challenges 
absolutely hate the challenges. I that's the one thing I really didn't want didn't want to see. Um, I especially those ones where it got to like like most of the time I didn't even notice them, and then like I'm like, oh cool, I've gotten two of them somehow. Um, so that's yeah, I don't know, and and then like it was like it got really annoying when I'm like, okay, I have to now do something where I like get something from the back or something. And that was, that got really like, and I and I remember it was in 2016 too, and I hated it there too. And I hate it here as well. Um, hey, mod it out. If <laughs> someone wants to do that, I'm, I'm totally up for that. Um, but um, no, I mean, but they're minor complaints. They're minor complaints. The, th the entire thing was just a phenomenal, phenomenal experience in terms of design and everything. The engine got like 10 times better than 2016's actually. 2016's engine wasn't bad, but I think it was still using mega textures. This one isn't. I know that much. They they did like a texture streaming thing and some other stuff. Like what a technological achievement this one is. Absolutely amazing. And like it just like it it has it all. It has good gameplay. It has good a, a very good engine. Um, a not really not too intrusive story. Now I will actually talk about that story wise. Um, Doom guy didn't need to talk. Uh, I was a little bit cringy. Um, Rip and tear. The fucking, like, the, it's from that comic. Uh, it's a meme comic, so, like, that's what they did. I mean, honestly, you're, it's, I, they probably thought it was funny, uh, and it was, it kind of was, like, the entire thing, like, it's, it's, you're not supposed to take it seriously. It's not Doom 3 where it tried to take itself seriously. It's, you're not supposed to take it seriously, but, <laughs> I, they, they really could have done without that. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I think maybe a little bit too much emphasis on cutscenes, but once again, you could skip those. So not a big deal. Um, yeah, and there's and oh, this is long too. What are we on? Like part thirty-five or something? Or I don't know where we are. It was definitely long and and good for that uh, regard. Uh, holy shit. Um, I found myself not using the plaza rifle too much at the end. That, that you know, that's a little bit getting more into the weapon balance stuff. Um, so in that regard, you know, probably probably needed a, a little bit more on that. Um, the you know what I and and the thing is like, I'm not too much into boss fights, but I can't say that it they they shouldn't have been in here because obviously, Doom One and Doom Two had boss fights. Um, really phenomenal looking like in terms of like graphically like very good looking one very difficult too very well done um even though it's not my forte i did enjoy it uh and it was it was a it was a challenge like i i think i've been on it for an hour now trying to do this um i don't know how it's gonna look when i edit it but holy shit uh yeah like this entire last mission took me two hours by the way um that's the what I'm seeing for my timing thing right now. So, um, but yeah, no, it's it's not supposed to take itself too seriously. So, I, like I said, I can I can kind of forgive that. I don't really care. Um, I don't know who'd be really like upset about that, but hey, you know what? It's fine. I mean, not even not even 2016 took itself too seriously either. But this was this was good. Um, I hope this starts a trend of like similar like FPSs like this, like. I honestly, with 2020 here, uh, this is gonna be hard to top. I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, what else is coming this year. Even there's like uh, Resident Evil 3, I think, um, which I don't know if I'm touching that. Uh, what else? There's that Cyberpunk game, and that's all I can think about. This is like I said, this is gonna be extremely hard to top. This is was really good. It's probably like one of the best games I've played in like the last five years or so I, I, I mean it's not gonna be something i do over and over again but yeah in terms of fps this is i think I, I honestly i could say in terms of fps this is probably the best one i played in the last decade um and like i said it it this is actually the first time i could say like the difference between like doom 1 doom 2 and then like doom 2016 like doom 2016 was pretty good but i didn't i wouldn't say that was better than than the um uh, than the original Doom games. This one, I, I, I can't say it's... I, I don't know if I can say if it's better. Um, that's hard to say, because th th we're talking about, like, 
like almost 20 25 years of difference right between these things but it's this is like in my mind like the doom 2 of today like or the doom of today like the, like it properly it's kind of rebranded because the thing is like fine it's if, if you go like and say oh there wasn't like certain element there wasn't glory kills in doom 1 well fuck man who cares it's it's there's a huge gap in difference right it's it's like it's a proper like this kind of decades kind of like doom kind of thing you know you got to think of it more like that that's why like it's it's hard to directly compare them and you really can't and the thing that would make it stand really the test of time is if the modding for it really took off and that's a little bit hard because can you imagine how complex this is a lot of the simplicity of doom 1 doom 2 is why the the modding is so prevalent in those games um this is like really complicated engine and all that obviously so it's it's hard to say but i thought it was just absolutely phenomenal um yeah no i i liked it um oh, i wish the i wish the ballista was a little bit better i used it a lot and i i wasn't a fan of it as much as i uh, i usually like i like the precision mod a lot in the in this one but the ballista i just felt like i i didn't get a lot of use out of it as much as i would have wanted to I mean, I, th I think it was the intent was not to make it the most powerful thing on the planet, but I don't know. Um, the music was top notch too. The music was absolutely amazing. I want to get the I want to get the soundtrack for this game. That was pretty much on par with a lot of like the older ones as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just like right now like I've just finished uh, the entire experience. I'm just kind of like maybe toting it up too much but it was really good um so they have a little bit of a multiplayer element i don't think i'm gonna really touch upon that someone invited me to try it the other day and i just said nah i wanted to just finish the game first kind of thing i'm not sure if i want to do that. it's apparently like you're two demons versus one slayer and then you're kind of like teaming up on him or something i don't know it's um that one's gonna be we'll see what that's maybe i'll see what that's about i don't know i i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna go too much in that is it looping this right now or nah legal acknowledgement so we're near the end um i would say the hub world was unnecessary though hub world sucked um i didn't really like that but yeah So what do we get for everything then? Alright. Is that some kind of like nightmare ending or? I hope it is. Alright. Well we have a couple things here to do. Oh, so we did come back here. Game complete. You can you can also oh the battle mode of master levels. We should do that shit, actually. I wanna do those. Um New master levels are added regularly. Maybe I'll give it a break for a bit. It's not like those are going anywhere. Um, just trying to see if there's anything. Well, we got the floppy disk and stuff. Yeah, um, we'll come back to it in a little bit. Let me just see if I got everything ever, just to give you guys a whole lore master. We, we can have a couple. We have a. We can have a couple look at this uh, at this stuff before. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. So how do you how do you go back to the hub world if you want to go to the hub world? Game completed. Milestones. Oh. Master of fasting. Complete a run with only famine mode cheat mode on. There's a lot of stuff. Complete campaign only acquiring one predator suit perk and one sentinel crit. Oh, can't perfect protection. Oh. That's like a challenge run. You don't get anything. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, complete Hell on Earth on under 
11 minutes? That, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Undead can't die. And that's all battle mode stuff. Wow. A lot of really crazy ones here. Well, we'll, we'll look at this in a bit, so, um... Alright, I just came back from editing everything, so I, I figure we'll do the stuff on the ship right now. And then I'll do it the separate lore episode, which I don't think I'm going to read all of it, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Well, no, I'm not going to, sorry, when I say I'm not going to read all of it, I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, I'm not going to do that, we're just going to keep it the way it is. Oh, I'm still, like, uh, like it was a very intense thing. Like, it actually, like, kind of tuckered me out. Oh, we get Doom. I'm going to guess the next one is Doom 2. Um, well, actually, I know it's Doom 2, so... But can we actually just play the entire Doom? Uh, ultraviolence. Okay, how do I... Oh, the movement, the mouse actually just works. It's, it's got a little bit of, like, a fade, like a weird aliasing thing. But I guess, I guess they have the entirety of Doom emulated in here. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much what I expected. I mean, guys, if you want to see the original Doom, I have like 16 LPs of Doom games. With mods. Where's my mods in this? Where's Brutal Doom? Can you just do all of it? Yeah, you can just do the entire game if you want. You know? Okay, so. Uh, this one is a bit more interesting. So, it's a very obscure password. Um, so, apparently, I had to look this up uh, because I didn't understand it. Apparently, it's... Apparently, it's a, a Doom Lore. Apparently, it's the name of the Doom guy in the old 1995 novels. And it's like Flynn... I thought it would be some codes I'd be collecting the entire time. There you go. That's it. So now you can do Doom 2 as well. So they got all of it working. Let's do Cuckoo Plenty. Oh, nice, nice sound. Just music to my ears. They tested it, right? <laughs> that sounds horrifying. No, it's got the fucking bullshit ring. I actually can't leave. I'm actually gonna lose. Well, before I humiliate myself, let's just leave that. Um... So yeah, that's it for those uh, little secrets. Um, that's pretty much all there was to it. He's got his sweet, sweet PC here. I don't think there's anything else on the ship, though, that's of any particular interest. Yeah, pretty much it. That's all there is to it. So, uh, we're not done yet, because I figure I'll go back to the main menu. And I'll show you some of the customizables we got. Midnight. Uh, get like a bluish one. I know they have like a pony one in this, honestly. It's kind of weird. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, this is the end. The, this is the outside. So I guess Maker Combat Shotgun. Prayer Turret. Oh, you can have the classic shotgun. Award for pre ordering Doom Eternal. Thanks for your eternal dedication. Oh. You guys caught me on the sellout. I can make her rocket line. Oh, I already have that one. Make her shotgun. Oh, bloodstained one. Come on. Yeah, uh, blista. I can make her version of that. 
Astro. Oh god. So they have a bunch of them. Inspect shotgun. Oh, shotgun shoulder, sure. Let's do this. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to go away from that. Gun raise. Victory animation. So there's probably a ton more stuff that you can uh, still unlock. Enter the fire. Oh, they even have, like, these things have their own, like, things. <laughs> For the fans. That's great. Thank you, by Red Rage. You can give him a slightly more red skin. Big guns. Scorched Earth. <laughs> the old one, too. <laughs> Factory Roar. Marauder, let's see here. Oh god, you can actually play as this guy. Yeah, we, we already know what those are. Activate Axe. Come no closer. Raise your Axe. Revel. <laughs> He's having the time of his life. I oh, can play as a pain elemental. Ah. Uh, shake it off. Chuckle. That is a big mouth. Holy shit. Three cheers for me. <laughs> Revved it. Oh, dude, dude. We have to have dude. Dude is the best skin. Already worth. Insanity. <laughs> Unleashed. Ready to ready to rage. <laughs> That's great. Maniac. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Right, what kind of icons can we have? Well, there's a ton of them. The hell? Some good shit, though. Title Lore Master Titan Slayer. Oh boy. I don't know. That's pretty good. My collection. Uh, it's just, I guess all the stuff I got or something, I don't know. What are these? Who knows? Uh, extras. Oh, here's the milestone stuff. So like, yeah, you'd get like... Yeah, so it's basically a lot of playing battle mode, I guess. Which, like I said, I don't know how much we're going to be doing that. Agnostic. Complete all default milestones. Huh. Alright, I well, I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want to play online with people. Actually, what the, what the hell are loadouts? Slayer. Oh, you can... Upgrade stuff. Oh, so they, did, they do have a bit of an online component to this. Set default weapons. Oh, that's not really anything. I don't. I don't know what that's all about. All right. Well, um, I think that was, that's pretty good. So we'll um, do a bit of a lore episode next. Um, I don't think. Well, I'll, I'll kind of actually just one more thing before we do a lore episode. Um, actually, we can do this. This is the Resistance Network in what will hopefully be our final broadcast to all the people of Earth. To anyone listening, the Demonic Horde has been defeated. The beast, identified by ARC scientists as the Icon of Sin, was destroyed earlier today by the Slayer himself. And with it, the majority of the Demonic Force has dispersed. With the threat decreased, it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believed the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. 
As humanity struggles to understand what happened to them and why, many look to the Slayer now for answers, but his whereabouts remain unknown. I guess the earth doesn't look like it's uh, fucked up anymore. There's a bit too much green, I'd say, though. Alright, well, how many master levels do we have? We have two. So, yeah. I could probably get those done uh, with this, actually. Those, those probably won't take too long now that I think about it. Um, what's this guy? Mission select. Ah, cheat codes. Okay, I skipped past it. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Uh, how do I go back to the thing? Turn to campaign. Oh, we got just an easy way of always going back, I guess. Okay, um, next episode we're going to look through all the lore, and that's uh, it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Excellent experience. Love sharing it with you. Hope you liked it as much as I do, which is a lot. So, uh, yeah, peace out.